Hi, Jennifer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today on Blind Bag Mystery, I have a special mixed up edition with Lego Minifigure Series 14. These are the cool Halloween themed ones. It's called the Monsters. So come along and we'll check them out. Some of the interesting figures I see within seem to be a zombie cheerleader, some kind of ghost, a spooky witch, a mad scientist, possibly a Ant-Man. That's very funny. <laughs> uh, a Venus flytrap guy, maybe? A skeleton, Wolverine. I think it says, yes, yeah, 16 and all to collect. So let's get into our first bag. I'm gonna try not to look at what's in here because we'll be doing a little game. I'm just gonna dump this pack out. Oh, it's not in a pack. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, I'll just dump that out. I have not looked at what's in there. I'm gonna leave it that way and I'm gonna keep going with my other packs because I'm actually gonna try and build these without looking at them. So I'm just gonna put all my pieces in a pile and see if I can make all the monsters correctly. Okay. Let's move that back there. And there's pack number three. I hope I can get it all out. Okay, I'm still not looking. Kind of fiddling around with this. Oh, that one was heavy. Okay, out of three packs with one minifigure in each pack, I have collected all these pieces and I'm gonna try and assemble them. Now, two of them, there's duplicate pieces here, so maybe we got a extra one. I don't even, I can't even begin to know where that goes, so. These are gonna end up looking pretty funny by the time I'm done with them. And here they are put together. Uh, do you think I got them right or wrong? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and maybe tell me all the things that you would fix on these fellows. Now, my three have come with this cool briefcase. We have lots of green ivy pants. Uh, I think this is supposed to be some kind of Venus flytrap man. He looks kind of scared. We also have some kind of zombie shirt. That's pretty cool. I think they're supposed to hold these. So they probably go together. Now, there's this really cool Zombie Times Brains newspaper. That's really, really neat. It's just printed on the front. I like that a lot. And there's this zombie kind of head guy, and uh, he's kind of combined into a Venus flytrap for this, and do you think I've set this guy's hair on right? So I think I've got that maybe sideways. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get the paper out and see what these are actually supposed to look like. Here is our collector sheet. Now we did get two duplicates and one of the same. That's really cool. So we got number 13 and we got, I believe, two fives. Oh, that's really funny. It's like a, a leopard woman instead of a cat woman. There's a gargoyle or some kind of zombie ghoul floaty thing. I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like Chewbacca holding a camera. There's a vampire lady, that's really funny. I would love to get one of the cheerleaders because from several Lego waves back in the blind bags, I have two normal cheerleaders, so it'd be really funny to have that kind of version. Oh, I guess that's a fly man instead of an ant man. <laughs> and of course the mad scientist is great. Look at those goggles. Okay, now they're mixed correctly, and I got the zombie businessman and the plant monster. And you can interpret that any way you want. Either it's a guy getting eaten by a plant monster, or maybe he's half man, half monster, or he's cosplaying. I'm not sure. So tell me below which your favorite is. I'd have to say maybe... 
It's a businessman is mine because he has that awesome paper. He has a briefcase. His outfit is kind of torn up and you can kind of see that red eye there. Like his face is really detailed and cool. And he's almost got like 80s hair going on there. So that's really neat. And since I got two plant monsters, I can make them duel <laughs> with these funny uh, plant leg things that they've got going on. Now it can be a little tricky to make them hold both of them sometimes, but you can just kind of tilt his big Venus flytrap head looking thing out of the way. And there's even a pretty good detail on that with the tongue there. I think these are really great toys. I really should have gotten more of them. Hopefully I'll be able to find more. They're a lot of fun and I look forward to mixing them with more of my collection because you could do some really fun pictures of these. So if you enjoyed that, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. My name on there is Jennifer Mulcurran. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.